Love is in the air in Canberra and the cash registers are ready to ring. But whether this story ends happily ever after will be decided by the High Court as it begins its hearing into the ACT's Marriage Equality Act. Similar laws overseas have already passed, but the ACT is the first Australian jurisdiction to get across the line. There's obviously a lot of pent-up demand uh, in Australia for this. Uh, there's quite a few people that are going to New Zealand. Uh, those people uh, could uh, come to Australia, could, could come to Canberra instead. And that's just what the local wedding venues want to hear. Kate Dawson says she's got one wedding booked and a host of inquiries and has plans to be part of the market. Certainly for us, um, I've looked into our figures and I predict that it should help to increase ours by about 20%. But while the drivers in the debate have been about social and even economic issues, in the High Court only one question will matter. Ultimately it will be a question of whether the ACT same-sex marriage law is inconsistent with the Federal Marriage Act. The Commonwealth argues it is, but the ACT says its law can sit alongside Commonwealth laws dealing with heterosexual marriage because it deals with different types of marriage. George Williams says the case could go either way. It really will turn on the High Court's vision of what scope a territory has to pass laws on the same topic as the Commonwealth. The case is being watched carefully from elsewhere after recent bids in Tasmania and New South Wales where similar bills were voted down. There's concern the ACT law is too broad and won't survive. I was, was critical of the ACT because I wanted to make sure that they put forward the strongest bill possible, the one that was the most bulletproof in the High Court. The first weddings are due to take place on Saturday, with one couple hoping to marry at half past seven in the morning in a bid to be the first. But whether the law will still be in force remains to be seen. Many expect a quick result, but even if there isn't, an injunction before there's a decision can't be ruled out. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.